So we've got people lined up for questions. I just got one more, because you used the word Christian. Have you ever asked God for forgiveness? That's a tough question. I, I don't think in terms of, I have, I'm, I'm a religious person. Shockingly, because people are so shocked when they find this out, uh, I'm Protestant, I'm Presbyterian. And I go to church and I love God and I love my church. And Norman Vincent Peale, the great Norman Vincent Peale was my pastor. The power of positive thinking. Everybody's heard of Norman Vincent Peale. He was so great. He would give a sermon you never wanted to leave. Sometimes we have sermons and every once in a while we think about leaving a little early, right? Even though we're Christian. <laughs> Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, Frank, would give a, survey, would give a sermon. I I'm telling you, I still remember his sermons. It was unbelievable. And what he would do is he'd bring real life situations, modern day situations, into the sermon. And you could listen to him all day long. When you left the church, you were disappointed that it was over. He was the greatest guy. And then, you know, he passed away, but he was a great, the, the, he wrote The Power of Positive Thinking, which is but, a great book. But have you ever asked God for forgiveness? <laughs> I'm not sure I have. I just go and try and do a better job from there. I don't think so. I think I, if, I, if I do something wrong, I think I just try and make it right. I don't bring God into that picture. I don't. Now, when I take, you know, when we go in church and, and when I drink my little wine, which is about the only wine I drink, and have my little cracker, I guess that's a form of asking for forgiveness. And I do that as often as possible because I feel cleansed, okay? But, uh, you know, to me, that's important. I do that. But in terms of officially, I should, I, see, I could say absolutely, and everybody, I don't think in terms of that. I, I think in terms of let's go on and let's make it right. So let's, again, you, you've gone into it. If I don't ask this question, this audience will be disappointed. Straight question, what is your relationship with God? Well, I pray, I go to church. Uh, do I do things that are wrong? I guess so. You know, uh, I'm a business person. I really do well at business. I, I, I've done great, I've made some of the great deals. I own, some, I own some of the greatest properties in the world. Am Did I God totally... Help you do these I, I, can, deals? I think God helped me. Personally, I think God helped me. I think, you know, look, God helped me by giving me a certain brain, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. You know, I, I went through a phenomenal school, the Wharton School of Finance, which is said to be the greatest business school in the world. I did really well there. I was a great student. Uh, so, I mean, I was born with a certain intellect that is good for this. I brought my Bible. See? I'm better than you thought, you see? And actually, this was given to me by my mother, and I was just noticing yesterday, and she wrote such a beautiful inscription. That's Mary McLeod from Scotland. Very religious, actually. And uh, it was uh, something I thought I'd bring along today, because this is a group that fully understands Bibles and respects everything that it says. I also brought my confirmation picture, because nobody can believe it. Nobody believes this. Uh, what went wrong? What went wrong? Christians, I'm a Christian. I'm Presbyterian. Can you believe it? Great people. They are great people. Christians, that's all of us, I will protect Israel totally. Bibi Netanyahu is a friend of mine. In fact, when he ran for office, he asked me to do an ad. I did an ad for him, and he won, so I'm happy about that. But I did an ad for him. But we will protect Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister, was also said to be a Mason. He was recruited when he was Israel's ambassador to the United Nations in New York City in the 1980s. You just like me because my daughter happens to be Jewish. Right? She has a great husband, Jared, and I'll tell you what, uh, Ivanka could not be happier, and she's very proud. The only bad news, I can't get her on Saturday. I call and call. I can't, <laughs> I can't speak to my daughter anymore on Saturday, so, but that's okay. Uh, it's an honor to be with you, and you know, I've devoted so much time over my life to Israel, and the other politicians, they can talk, but believe me, they haven't done what I've done. I've received many, many awards. 
I was the Grand Marshal. I was the Grand Marshal of the Israeli Day Parade at a very dangerous time when people said, don't do it, don't do it. I walked up Fifth Avenue. I'm looking up for lots of trouble. But I said, no way that I'm not going to do it. And it was a rough time, as you know. It was 2004, and it was a tremendously successful parade, maybe their most successful parade that they ever had.